Hi, this is Anna and this is little brother on his way. <laughs> I'm in week 34 now, which means I need to adapt my Ashtanga yoga practice. But it's still possible to do it. So today I will lead you through a really soft version of the traditional Ashtanga yoga sequence. Uh, so just follow along. Samastitihi, instead of keeping my feet together, I now prefer to have them hip width apart. You find your breathing in and out through your nose. But instead of sucking your belly inwards as we normally do, we allow space, of course, for our bellies, but we can still engage our pelvis muscles, our mula bandha. Vande Gurunam Sharanara Vinde Sandar Shita Shvatma Sukava Bode Nishreya Se Yangali Kayamane Samsara Hala Hala Muha Shantye Abahu Purushakaram Shankashakrasi Darinam Sahasra Shirasam Shvetam Pranamami Patanjalim Om. Surya Namaskara A, Sun Salutation A. Inhale, lift your arms, gaze up. Exhale, lean forward, make sure that you leave space for your belly. Inhale, lift your shin. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back with your feet and arch your back up towards the spine, gaze towards your belly. Inhale, look up, lift your tailbone, lift your shin. And we continue this movement for a few breaths. So we inhale and we look up and lift our tailbone. Exhale when you arch your back. And exhale, come up to down dog. Take a few breaths here. Inhale, step forward, a wider step between your feet, lengthen your spine, exhale, relax down, inhale, lift all the way up, exhale, samastitihi, <clears throat> inhale, lift up, exhale, lean forward. Inhale, lift your shin, open your chest. Exhale, step back, knees to the mat, to the floor, and arch your back. Exhale. Inhale, look up. And exhale, down dog.
gaze towards your navel, towards your baby. You can at any time put your knees to the floor and continue to breathe here. Inhale, step forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, Samastiti. <clears throat> Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, lift your shin, open your chest. Exhale, step back, put your knees to the floor and arch your back. Gaze towards your navel. Inhale, look up. Lift your tailbone and exhale, either stay here or come up to down dog. Inhale, step forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, Samastiti. <clears throat> Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, lean forward. <clears throat> Inhale, lift your shin. Exhale, step back, knees to the floor and arch your back. Inhale, look up, open your chest. And exhale, down dog. So we do this arching and curving the spine instead of do, doing the plank pose and the cobra pose. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, Samastiti. <clears throat> Last one. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, lean forward. <clears throat> Inhale, lift your shin. Exhale, step back. Knees to the floor and arch your back. Gaze towards your navel. Inhale and curve your spine. Lift your tailbone, lift your shin. And exhale, either stay here with your knees to the floor or come up to down dog.
Inhale, step forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, Samastiti. We are not, we are not doing Suryana Mascara B today. So if you feel comfortable doing it, of course you can do it. But for today, we are just not. It's a skip asana today. <laughs> so Padangustasana, hands to your waist. We already have our feet, hip breath apart. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax forward. Take hold around your big toes. Create space for your belly. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax down. Padahastasana, inhale, lift your shin, place the hands underneath the soles of your feet, exhale, relax down. Inhale, lift your shin. Stay there, exhale, hands onto your waist, inhale, come up, and exhale, Samastitihi. Utita Trikonasana, inhale, step out to your right, spread your arms out to the sides, exhale, turn your right foot, heels on the same line, follow your right hand and take hold somewhere on your right leg, lift your left arm, Gaze up towards your fingertips and breathe. And really feel into the limits of your body, what feels comfortable and what feels not comfortable and adapt according to that. So some days or some parts of the pregnancy, you just have to skip some asanas. Inhale, come up to parallel feet, lengthen your arms. Exhale, left side. Heels on the same line, take hold somewhere on your leg. It can be even as far up as on your thigh. Inhale, come up to parallel feet, lengthen your arms. We are not doing the rotations, so exhale, come forward. Samastitihi. <clears throat> Utita Pashva Konasana. Inhale, come out a wider step to your right, lengthen your arms. Exhale, turn your right foot, bend your knee, place your right arm onto, onto your thigh and stretch your left arm over your head and stretch the entire left hand side of your body and breathe. Let your belly move with your breath so you don't have to try to, of course, use your Udiana Banda, your stomach lock, but you can engage your pelvis muscles. Inhale, parallel feet, lengthen your arms. Exhale, turn to your left side. Gaze towards your fingertips. Inhale, parallel feet, 
And again, we're not doing the rotation because it's all about detoxifying the belly. We do not want that now. So exhale, samastitihi. Prasarita padottanasana. Hands to your waist, inhale, come out to your right, parallel feet, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lean forward. Place your hands between your feet if it's possible. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, lift your shin. Stay there, exhale. Hands to your waist, inhale, come up. And exhale, relax. B, inhale, arms out to the sides. Exhale, hands to your waist. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lean forward. It can feel really good to bend your knees and feel that you really create space for your belly and bend from your hip joints. So I usually bend my knees first and then from here I can stretch them and make them straight. Or you stay with bent knees. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, relax. C. Inhale, lengthen your arms to the sides. Exhale, clasp your fingers together behind you. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, lean forward and lift your arms away from your back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, stay here. D, hands to your waist. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lean forward. Take hold around your toes. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, lift your shin. Stay there, exhale. Hands to your waist, inhale, come up. Exhale, samastitihi. Pashvottanasana, palms together behind you if it works or you can just hold on to your arms. Inhale, come out to your right. Turn your right foot, instead of having your heels on the same line, here you can separate your knee, uh, heels slightly. Try to rotate uh, your hips so that your hips get parallel and your back foot might want to uh, point more forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lean forward, not straight towards your right leg, but next to your leg.
You never want to squeeze your belly, even though you are early on in, in your pregnancy and you could get your navel towards your thigh. You don't want to do that. Create space. Inhale, come up. Turn to the other side. Correct your, the alignment of your feet. And exhale, lean forward. Inhale, parallel feet. Exhale, come forward, samastiti. Uttitta hasta padangustasana, left hand to your waist. Inhale, lift your right leg, take hold around your knee, or if you are still comfortable with hold, holding on to your toe and stretch your leg, you can do that. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, come out with your leg to the right. Gaze to your left. Inhale, come forward uh, with your leg. And exhale, gently come down. So we are not doing the lift now. It's too much of a strain on your non-existent <laughs> belly muscles. Right hand to your waist. Inhale, lift your left leg. Hold on to your knee or your toe. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, come out with your leg to your left, gaze to your right. Inhale, come forward with your leg and exhale, come down. Samastitihi. Ardha Bada Padmottanasana. Instead of putting my leg into half lotus position, I place the foot on the inside of my thigh, come back with my arms, and breathe here. Inhale, lift your knee. Exhale, come down. Left side. Inhale, lift up your left leg. You can either place it below your knee or over your knee, but not onto your knee. Wrap your arms behind you. And breathe. Inhale, lift your knee. Exhale, samastitihi. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, lift your shin. Exhale, step back. Put your knees to the floor and arch your spine. 
Inhale, lift your shin, lift your tailbone. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, step forward. Bend your knees deeply, lift your arms, palms together. Deep breathing. Ground your feet. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, lift your shin. Exhale, step back, knees to the floor, arch your spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale, down dog. Virabhadrasana, turn your left foot, your left heel. Inhale, step with your right foot. So if that doesn't work to take a wide step here, you can just take a smaller step and arrange it when you come up. Or you take a wide step, uh, a long step, <laughs> bend your knee, parallel hips, and lift your arms. Exhale, turn to your left side. Parallel hips, lift your arms. It might be that you need to take a smaller step because of your hip joints. And your pelvis. B, inhale, take your arms out to the sides, open your hips, gaze to your left. Exhale, turn to your right. Exhale, put your hands on the inside of your leg, of your foot. Take your leg back and exhale, arch your spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale, down dog. And inhale, come forward to sitting. That was all the standing postures. So we continue with the primary series. Stretch out your legs in front of you. Place your hands next to your hips. Lower your shin, gaze towards your nose tip and breathe. Again, allow your breath to move also into your belly, but you can still lift your pelvis muscles. Paschimatanasana A, separate your feet as much as you need to. Take hold around your toes, inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax down. Mm. 
Inhale, lift your shin, open your chest. Take hold from the outside of your feet and exhale, relax down. Inhale, lift your shin. Exhale, stay there. We are skipping the C version. And from here, come up to sitting. <clears throat> Stretch out your legs in front of you, heels together. Place your hands behind you, fingers pointing in towards your body. Inhale, open your chest, lift your shin. You can either stay here and breathe or you lift up and push your toes into the floor. Exhale, come down. Ardha Baddha Padma Paschimattanasana. Take up your right foot, not in half lotus, because we don't want to have the heel in towards our belly, but instead further forward onto your left leg. Make sure that you create space for your belly. So instead of going straight towards your left leg, we go in between our thighs. So inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax down. You have to feel yourself where you want to put your hands. Deep breathing. Just sense a soft opening of your right hip, buttock muscles. Inhale, lift your shin. Stay there, exhale. And we, turn, and we switch to the other side. So stretch out your right leg. Place your left foot on top of your uh, right lower leg. <laughs> You get to move me with my pregnant body, but also my very pregnant mind at the moment. <laughs> That's my biggest struggle. <laughs> body be being slow is fine. Mind being slow is more difficult. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, lift your shin, stay there, exhale, inhale, stretch out your legs, so come back to Dandasana, and from here, Tiryang Mukha Ekapada Paschimattanasana, take back your right lower leg, instead of keeping your knees together, we create a nice space between our knees, inhale, place your hands to the floor in front of you, lengthen your spine, and exhale, relax down as far down as feels comfortable for you and your baby. Gaze to your nose. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Stay, exhale. And we switch to the left side. Inhale, lengthen your spine, create space for your belly. And exhale, relax down. And remember, if any pose doesn't feel good, it means that your body tells you something is off. So then either try to adapt the pose, the pose you're doing, or you can just skip it. So you don't have to do anything. Feel that your right leg is still engaged. Inhale, lift your shin, your spine. Stay there, exhale. Inhale, come up 
to Dandasana, which is the base of all the sitting postures. And from here, we'll go to Yana Shirshasana A. Place the sole of your right foot into your left thigh. And again, we don't want to lean straight towards your left leg as we normally do. Instead, we want to move forward um, in the direction of our hips. So inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax down. Here I feel that my belly gets a bit squeezed, so I'm not going to go far down at all. more focusing on this very subtle um, sensations in the body. The sensation of breath moving through my body. The sensation between bar uh, of balance between activation and softness in the body. And inhale, lengthen your spine. Stay there, exhale. And turn, uh, switch to the other side. <clears throat> inhale. And exhale, go forward as far forward as feels good for you. And your belly, your baby. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen your spine, stay there, exhale. And during pregnancy, we don't do the B and C version. So we go straight to Marishasana A. Place your right foot below your right knee. Again, create more space. You can stay here if you want. So for me, right now, I need a a wide distance between my feet. For you, maybe it's enough to a little bit wider than normally. Wrap your right arm around your right leg. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, lift your, sh your shin, lengthen your spine, stay there, exhale. And we switch to the left side. Wrap your left arm around your leg, take hold behind your back. Use a towel or something if you can't hold on to your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax forward. Inhale, lift your shin, stay there, exhale. B version, so instead of having your foot in half lotus position, you place your left foot onto the floor and your right foot in front of your left foot. Lean forward. Wrap your right arm around your right leg. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lean forward. Gaze towards your nose. Inhale, lift your shin. Stay
stay, exhale, and we switch to the left side, right foot, and right leg folded to the, onto the floor. Place your left foot below your left knee, lean forward, take hold behind, behind your back if you can, inhale, open your chest, exhale, lean forward. Inhale, lift your shin, lengthen your spine. Stay there and exhale. Inhale, come up to sitting. Marishasana C. Place your right foot below your right knee. Instead of moving our belly towards our thigh to detoxify the belly, which we don't want now, <laughs> we move in the other direction. So either just push your right arm against your right leg and push your leg back into your arm. Use the left arm as a support behind you to rotate your spine to your left, away from your right thigh. Or you can wrap your right arm around your right leg, take hold behind your back and gaze back. Inhale, come forward. And from here we move to the left side. So either stay here. On each inhalation, lengthen your spine. On e each exhalation, we rotate deeper. Or you can wrap your arm around your leg. Gaze back. Inhale, come forward. D, the same base in our legs as the B version. So left foot, left leg folded onto the mat, right foot below your right knee. And then we rotate the same way we did in, in the C version. So either like this or wrap your, your arm around your leg Gaze back and breathe. Inhale, come forward and just change sides. Inhale, come forward. Navasana. We do not want to try to strain our belly muscles, stomach muscles. So instead of doing it with straight legs, we take hold around, uh, underneath our knees and just balance between our tailbone and sit bones and breathe. Open your chest. And from here, we will do the Buddha Pidasana. So we will try to come up to a squat. <clears throat> and instead of trying to put our weight onto our hands, we stay in this nice squat and breathe. Gaze to your nose, open chest, and feel into your hip joints. 
Lift the muscles in your pelvis. Kurmasana from here, come down to sitting. Stretch your legs wide apart. Put your hands in front of you. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, move forward as far forward as feels good for you and your child. Active legs. Supta Kurmasana. Move your feet closer together and let your knees fall out to the sides. Put your lower arms underneath your ankles. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax down. <clears throat> Inhale, lift your shin, stay there, exhale, inhale, come up to sitting. Garba Pirasana, cross your legs. So the way I like to do it now is to just cross my legs and put my arms on the inside of my legs and balance here between my sit bones and tailbone. Garba Pidasana, that means embryo in the womb pose. <laughs> and we are not doing the Chakrasana, the rolling on the back. We are not doing the lifting up in Utpluti. So from here, we just come down <clears throat> to Bada Konasana. Soles of your feet together. Open your feet, so the soles of your feet strive towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, move forward. And now I feel my belly pushing to my heels, so I need to move my legs more forward. Maybe for you it works well to have, the, have your heels closer in towards your groin. <clears throat> Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, and we can do a soft B version where we, without forcing it, curve the spine, arch the spine. Feel the breath on the back of your body towards your shoulder blades inhale lift your shin stay there exhale upavista konasana separate your feet lengthen your legs take hold around your toes inhale lengthen your spine exhale relax down Inhale, lift your shin. Stay there, exhale. Inhale, come up and balance between your tailbone and sit bone. Lift your legs. You can either stay like, uh, like this or take hold around your toes and stretch out your legs. Gaze up. And 
And from here, we are not doing the Supta Konasana. At least for me, it's not comfortable to lay down on my back because of the vag vagus nerve. Uh, as it's the same thing with the um, uh, Supta Padangustasana, where you lay back, lay down on your back. Uh, most pregnant women are not comfortable with laying down on the back because of the pressure of the vagus nerve, which um, um, makes the supply of oxygen uh, less for you and the baby. So we skip those. So from here we are doing the bridge pose. Lay down. <clears throat> Inhale, lift your hips, clasp your fingers together behind you and try to move your shoulders as close together as possible underneath your body. Push your arms down, push with your feet to lift your hips. Deep breathing. Exhale, calm down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, calm down. And two repetitions is usually enough, at least for me. Inhale. So either you can roll up to sitting or yes, or first come down to your side and then come up to sitting. Forward bend, Paschimottanasana. Separate your feet, take hold, wherever works good for you. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, lift your shin. Stay there, exhale. And we are not doing the shoulder stand sequence. We're not doing the inversions. So we'll go straight to Bada Padmasana. You might be able to sit in the full lotus position or a crossed legs position. For me, it feels much better at this point to sit like this. Cross your arms behind your back, inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, lean forward. And here you keep your eyes closed. Your focus between your eyebrows. Bru Madhya Drishti. Inhale, Parvatanasana. Clasp your fingers. Palms facing up towards the ceiling. Lower your shoulders. Deep breathing. Exhale, lean forward. <clears throat> Inhale, lift up. Exhale, Bhairavi Mudra, left hand on top of your right. 
thumbs together. And here I really appreciate to put my hands onto my belly and feel my baby. And if you need a pillow to sit on, to sit comfortable, you do that. Deep, even breaths. And let both your chest and your belly expand with each inhalation. Connect with your child. Connect with your own body. Connect with the two beating hearts within your body. Shin Mudra, lengthen your arms, palms facing up, thumb and index finger together. <clears throat> Closed eyes, internal focus, where you focus your attention on the point between your eyebrows. which opens up your inner sight. <clears throat> oh Shvashti Pratyabyam Paripala Yantam Yayena Magena Mahi Mahim Shaha Go Brahman Hebiha Shubamastu Nityam Luka samasta suki nu bhavantu, sarvedyana suki nu bhavantu, samasta san mangalani santu, luka kalyana samruti rastu, vishvashanti rastu, om shanti 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 hi. And from here, you either lay down and as I said before, during pregnancy, it's not advised to lay down on your bed. 
So instead, see if you can find a comfortable position, maybe with a pillow on your side to rest and relax, connect with your baby. Or you can stay sitting in meditation if that is comfortable for you. So yes, let go of the deep breathing. Let your body breathe in its own pace. Feel how the floor supports you and how you can relax your entire body weight. the weight of the two bodies onto the floor, onto the ground. Know that you are held, supported. Witness the great intelligence that makes your heart beat. The great intelligence that has created another heart within your body. And feel those two hearts beat together. Feel the powerful force of motherly love. Feel your system. Direct this love towards yourself and towards your unborn child. Unconditional love from a mother's heart, from the universal mother. That is then mirrored and expressed through each mother. unconditional motherly love. Stay and rest for as long as you feel like. And I thank you for moving with me uh, today. <laughs> thank you.